Is it still rolling? Oh, fine. If you keep um, smiling, that'll be good because I have a tendency to be very serious. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard task to find one word to describe John, but I think enthusiasm. It's brilliant, funny, warm. Wonderful. Consistent. Big and restless. Playful. Loyal. Oh, he was intense. At times, too intense, maybe? <laughs> Courageous. Crazy. Fun. Loud. <laughs> He's vivacious. He really always was, in some ways, that very shy boy that I met when he was 16. Ethical. First meeting John, what struck me was I trusted him instantly. You immediately just felt, felt a connection to the guy. John was so authentic and so real. Anyone who really knew John couldn't help but kind of fall into a kind of love with John. And he was also very funny. He definitely had a sense of humor. We would <laughs> literally have multi-multi-hour dinners. They felt like 15 minutes because we laughed the entire time. <laughs> John always led by example. When John had a mission, you might as well just sign up and just get up and do the work because he's definitely taking you there. John is, you know, the picture of an American success story. He was the oldest of five children of Irish immigrants. In a piece of irony that he greatly appreciated, his mother's first job in New York was working as a housekeeper for a Wall Street banker. Being immigrants, they were here because they didn't have choices. He really made sure that I had choices in my life. John had so much pride in Anne. He bragged about her all the time. I think the combination of Anne and John was stronger than the combination of any individual. First love, last love, all in. He had no time for people who weren't honest in everything that they did. But I think he was really warm and engaging and wanted to understand people's stories and he really cared about the whole person. The whole department was under his leadership. And I started saying to myself, why would someone at his level really have an interest in me and other guards? One thing I saw in my dad always was a deep desire to see people achieve their full potential. He had this overflowing enthusiasm that each of us could conquer the world in our own way. He had more confidence in any one of us than we probably ever had in ourselves. John was a great advocate for talent stepping into leadership, and he was pretty gender blind about it. I can see that he was always giving me tests to figure out how much farther I could go. I can't think of a moment today where I look back and think he gave me the wrong advice. I can see John in the people that he led. I think the main way that my dad's legacy lives on is making sure that everybody can get a chance. That was John. His success was other people's success, and he relished it. He accomplished a lot for himself, but he accomplished a lot for others, too. And I think that's what this prize embodies. Through Anne's vision, other people's lives are moved because of him. It reflects a lot about him, I think, in a way that we never would have understood. And his beliefs live on in a very special way. His impact has inspired us to have a much bigger multiplier effect. <laughs>